So, welcome everyone. Welcome to my uh, presentation today. Uh, today I'm going to present to you uh, a prototype module that we have uh, built uh, in, uh, that we're building in our company, and it has to do about uh, AI-driven content and uh, summarize them with AI, and of course, make them, make them easy. So, let's start with the uh, first slide. First of all, I would like to start about uh, myself and who am I. My name is uh, Marcos Polos, not to be confused with the uh, historical one. I'm uh, a different guy. And uh, of course, uh, if you're a uh, uh, new parent or if you're about to become a parent, uh, just to let you know that uh, this name is a good icebreaker in the beginning. So have, uh, you can have it in mind. I'm a Python developer at Kiwi, and I'm also studying artificial intelligence at the Utrecht University. Uh, and my goal, of course, is to combine uh, AI with Google and try to make it easy to customers, to clients, so they can easily communicate. It has helped me grow, and I want also to contribute back on my uh, uh, on my uh, level. So, first of all, I would like to start with a question: Have you ever used ChatGPT to summarize any text? If you have, raise your hands. Probably, yeah, almost everyone. And it's actually it's cool because it helps you uh, basically saving time. If you want, for example, you have a paper and you want to read it much faster, you can say, hey, summarize this paper for me because I don't have a lot of uh, time and uh, you can just take the summary of that paper. So if you're doing this, then probably this prototype module might be for you, it might be useful to use it in your uh, website. But first, let's start with a use case scenario. Let's imagine for a second that we are journalists, we have this journal website. And of course, if we are journalists, then uh, well, we are creating probably 20 pages, or 30 pages, or 40 news pages every day. We are writing the articles, etc. And we are doing these uh, pages, um, uh, we are adding the pages, and of course, as journals, we also want to have the summary of the page. First of all, to create the summary, of course, to create the summary. And to have the summary in the teaser, so then we can show them in the view page that we will have, the summary of the context. And also, a highly important one is the SEO description. So we'll have the summary and then pass it to the SEO description, and then the search results, the search engines will pick up a good SEO description so we can rank up our website. And of course we can use it for much more. Uh, and how we can basically, but what's basically the motivation here? Now someone might say, okay, uh, well, a journalist can actually already use that. They can go to ChatGPT, uh, uh, take a, a Copy paste the whole article of, uh, of the page, pass it there, and then ask ChatGPT, hey, can you please uh, um, uh, summarize the text for me? But there's a catch. If you are a journalist and you are making 20 pages every day, 30, 40, you will have to do that copy paste thing many times. And not only the copy paste, but also the rewrite from. And at the end of the day, these are many clicks. And these clicks add up. Why not having this functionality? inside your blog. And of course someone might ask, okay, uh, we, we actually had uh, uh, a client case uh, in our company, and first of all, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel, we wanted to check the current summary AI modules that exist out there. Of course, the first one is the OpenAI ChatGPT integration, and uh, uh, to be more specific, the OpenAI content sub-module, which it can summarize, it can take a field, uh, in the next page and then summarize that for you. Uh, the Augmented AI does something similar uh, with OpenAI ChatGPT. The AI Interpolator OpenAI, which also summarizes uh, text. And one really cool uh, module that I found recently was the Generative Summary by Chris Wu, or Wu. Uh, that's also his username. Um, and uh, what he does basically is that he takes the content inside of the body you click a button, and on the fly, you, jump, uh, you summarize the, the content of that body inside of the summary uh, field. And maybe there are much more which I have forgotten. But what is the problem or limitation that we have here is that uh, they only target one field, only one field to uh, basically summarize. And that for us was a small limitation because, um, for example, our clients might have the context in multiple fields or in other uh, field types. 
uh, and we wanted to get that content uh, out and uh, combine it and basically give the final summarization to, uh, to the customer. And so, I'd like to present a very small one that is summary made easy uh, prototype. That's the main configuration page. And as you can see, what we are doing is that we are fetching all the content types um, that the page has. And uh, for uh, each content type, we only take, we only take the text fields. Okay, on the text fields, we also fetch that. And with this checkbox, we basically, we basically select which checkbox, the checkbox uh, we want to include in the prompt. So that means that this check, uh, sorry, the data from this uh, uh, fields will be uh, summarized based on the prompt that we have. And also, I will also show you in the demo that above there is like a summarized kind of prompt where uh, we write summarizing the text uh, between 100 and 200 words, or we can also write whatever we want. So you can imagine that this is the page that we have, and as a journalist, I want to summarize, uh, for example, the title and these two paragraphs. But I don't want to summarize this one or uh, maybe the comments, because we don't want to pass the comments of the users uh, to ChatGPT. We want to avoid that. We just want these particular ones. And so, demo time to have it a little bit more exciting. So, I have you uh, here, here. Oh, and well, today we are in Drupal Jam, so let's be a little bit premium today. Uh, the problem here is uh, uh, yeah, summarize the text below in less than 200 words, the summarization that we uh, said before. And then here is where we fetch uh, all the fields. And here I have select, for example, I want to include only the body, uh, the content field too. Um, we can also say, well, let's keep that. Um, the, uh, the generate button and Maybe we want to have that, for example, in the summary field, or we might also want to, uh, want to have this in the keyword. So basically, it's going to be one button that we will attach to the um, field that we want, that the user we would like afterwards to click that and then generate the summary. So let's save the configuration. Perfect. And now let's go to one node that we have created, which talks about countries. Uh, give me, indeed, it gives a summarization about Netherlands. Like, oh, I don't want this one, for example, or I don't want this sentence, so I can just, you can play around and basically do whatever you want. Um, but you can be a little bit also more creative. And what I mean more creative is that, well, let's also attach it to the keywords. And let's say here that I have five keywords. Uh, separate them, separate uh, the words. Michael. Uh, customize it however you want. And basically the problem that we have is that, okay, with the modules that they already exist, if you go to uh, the, I don't have it here. Oh, here it is, summarize text. The problem was that we could only select one field. Like if I could choose here the uh, content, file, uh, content field two, then I will probably take uh, the summarize for that particular field, indeed. But then I would require to copy paste that, so it becomes a little bit not that user friendly. And so um, let's go back to the slides. Of course, as I said, that's a prototype. We are uh, still thinking and also uh, brainstorming with you uh, the idea that we have. And of course, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. But some future work that we have is to, to include the title field in the prompt, because right now the title field cannot be selected. And include paragraphs, but only the next type of paragraphs, because there are a lot of uh, uh, pages that actually use paragraphs as an important field to uh, uh, write to write the data there. So we would also like to include that in our module. Um, an idea of making the prompt and the selection fields more dynamic per content type or not level. So as we saw right now, I went back to the global configuration and changed the prompt so it can have only five keywords. So for example, we could have the five keywords as one configuration template. We can have the summarization as a second configuration template and much more. This can be very configurable based on your liking 
based on the uh, user's liking. And that can be on the content type level or on the node level itself overriding in the global settings. Um, and also, a very important thing is to have a error because SEO, especially for this one, uh, we are generating the summary. We will take the summary to the SEO description at the end. And we would like to, be, to have it as um, uh, optimized or as, uh, as, as better as we would like. So um, we would like to spend also a little bit more time, better documentation, better API. But we are Drupal here, we are open source, and there are also other elements that are also open source, like Lama. Uh, there are not a lot of integration that I've with Lama, and maybe that's also something that we would like to work or see in the future to include elements that are open source. I think that would be a really nice thing to uh, have in our Drupal ecosystem. And so, I want to finish my uh, presentation with a small quote that Dries did in Portland two months ago, and I really liked it, I liked it which is, making Drupal easy is hard. And I think this is where I also want to focus more. Because also for me, as a developer, when I started five years ago, it was a bit hard to start with Drupal. But as I grew up and uh, as I understood it better, I indeed fell more into love with, with Drupal, but in the beginning it was hard. So also my goal, as I'm doing my studies in AI, is to make AI more easily integratable and more easily accessible to Drupal. So I would really like to do that, and I think with you and with the community, we will be able to be the pioneers of uh, this initiative. So I would like to thank you a lot for uh, listening to me. That's the, um, uh, the code that we have right now, the prototype code. If you want to have a look, of course, we will work on it also in the, to, to, to push it on the Drupal community. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Of course, uh, the question was yesterday to us. And it was a quite uh, small one, and I know that you are a bit tired <laughs> with uh, all the talks today, but uh, yeah. Uh, if you have any feedback, maybe, or uh, yes. Uh, for now, it's only focused on notes, right? Okay, now only for notes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so there are plans for paragraphs. Yeah, and I think the really should be a uh, because all the other contributors, I also saw other presentations, and they are really focused on. Uh, having the CK editor, yeah. there's some options there, but this is more focused on all of the fields and you can target everything. Yeah, and exactly the goal is to make it as customizable as possible. And also, I'm not trying to diss the other module, they are great and they are doing an amazing job. Yeah. It's just um, that yeah, the thing about the module is more simplified, more easy to use for also the users. Nice. If there are no any more questions, then I'll... Um, How? Then you need two weeks or... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that I will not have seen this 50 minutes <laughs> that I have spent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, maybe you can have a little bit more free time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.